Good day everyone, welcome to Studio 39 Design Studio. This is Richmond speaking, your resident architect. In this video, I want to show you guys how to create a uh, 3D section using ArchiCAD. Uh, so let's get into it. So in my previous video, I showed you guys how to do a, a 2D, a 3D floor plan. But this time we're going to be doing a 3D floor plan. So what I want to do right now is I want to go ahead and uh, switch this off. Uh, delete all cuts. Yes, I want to delete all cuts away. So I just want to do a sectional of this um, 3D um, model of mine that I created in ArchiCAD. So essentially what I want to do this time is I want to uh, work on floor plan. Uh, now, with that said, what I want to do is, uh, once again, because my 3D cutaway uh, is currently toggled on, as you can see here, I can drag from whatever direction I want to cut from. So I don't want to see everything from the left hand side, so I can just go ahead and click this and then drag it until a point I feel comfortable with. And I really want to cut. Uh, just before the staircase and somewhere in, be somewhere in between the window here and I also want to cut through the garage door I'm assuming the garage door is going to be a cut through a cut through element also and at the same time uh, I want to cut through the uh, sort of like the uh, what you call what you call what you can call uh, the the bathrooms so basically i have that so let me just go to my ground floor layout because this was the first layer so first floor layout so i see that uh there's some issues here so the best thing to do from this point on is uh, just to maybe uh, notch this a bit uh to the left uh just around there so that i can cut through the door at the same time uh, that leads to the garage from the inside and uh, I also I think everything else from that point on is fine uh, This is not really something that I want to spend too much time trying to figure out. I also want to cut through the roof uh, sectional uh, so now I can go to 3d and uh, 3d It should be showing um, Okay, so it did not do it. The reason why it didn't show it because I had to first finalize. So now I'm going to go back to my first floor layout, uh, drag that this element, and just just go right up against this, and then uh, there you go. I'm cutting through the doors, all the doors, and. Uh, it would be nice to cut through the window on the other side also, but it's fine. It's not a trench mesh. Uh, now, the main thing is to actually finalize this. Uh, so now, if I go to 3D, well, it's not showing. I don't understand why it's not showing, but we can always just come here in 3D and uh, do that same sort of like... It's not final. So there you go. That's where I want it to be at around that area right here. It's a bit tricky, but eventually I would get it right. So we can you can choose many many areas to cut from. In fact, we can now that I'm thinking about it, because uh, this thing is taking me some time to figure out. So what I want to do now. Uh, I'm, I'm realizing that I have more sort of like uh, room, video room by cutting to see 
uh, the other the other direction so uh, I want something like this I think that's gonna work out even better for me I like that but it's cutting through the staircase so I want to cut through the garage door and the door and the window at the top on the first floor and uh, I think this is this is gonna work and then I just want to finalize so basically that's my section which I'm cutting through and at the same time I can go down to the ground floor layout so on the ground floor layout obviously now I can just move this to the trash and then 3D wise uh, this is all snapped into me uh, there are many other ways to sort of like make this work to your advantage but this is my this is the most simplest way to do it um, uh, this is the most simplest way to do it basically uh, and then what you can do obviously is you can now set it up to like uh, your uh, perspective wise and then you can set up your sun dialogue where you want to render from it's better to always have the sun behind you so that you can get better uh, rendering from that uh, like that and then uh, you can just go to setup here and then also for your guidelines of, of where the visibility of the whole house is going to be like and then I think I like that view and then I can just say preview what the end product is going to look like and that's what you get obviously previously I set my uh, sort of like my sun latitude a bit higher so now I want to bring it up to about 35 degrees so now it's sort of like hitting directly through and uh, I think that's it that that looks a bit better to me so I can just finalize that uh, for now so while this is rendering uh, I just also want to show you guys that um, from my previous video where which I showed you how to sort of like render the uh, the ground floor layout I also went ahead and rendered the first floor layout and uh, this is the this is the ground, the first floor layout which I most recently rendered using Lumion. So now what I want to do at the same time, I'm just going to go to files and then load scene, uh, not load scene, actually I want to go to start and uh, just get ready for, for the next one and then I'm just going to say a white model, uh, a white space, uh, just to simplify everything and then I'm going to go ahead and wait for my kick head. Uh, render to finish so we're back now and I just want to go ahead and save this under the ArchiCAD renders folder so I'm just gonna save this as two um, no not two actually I want to save this as four and that's what you will get and uh, another trick ArchiCAD uh, another trick in ArchiCAD what you can do if you don't want to use this uh, 3d setup thing you can go ahead and use the mask tool now there's uh, the, the mask tool obviously is this tool right here and uh, you can obviously preset where you'd like to cut through and i think where i would like to cut through is somewhere now i'm going to switch between these two and then i'm going to use the one with the sort of like thicker outline uh you there's a, a reason for that um it's gonna take forever to explain though but so that's why i'm not really gonna go into detail to why uh, I can but you know I just don't have the time so now I'm cutting through now what I'm doing is I'm selecting the area which I want to uh, sort of like see so now once I've selected it I can just right click wherever and then show selected mask in 3d 
okay now now that i've made that uh you can just turn to the other side obviously and uh you can see that we've done the cut and uh, as you can see also this is quite sad now that i'm realizing that this is actually not sitting on the floor it's supposed to be sitting on the floor like this but that's not that's not a here nor there at this point in time so what you can do now is you can go to the uh, sort of like the check the check the preview and uh, and just line it up to how you'd want it to to be uh, but first things first uh, you set up the uh, sun direction so that you get more illuminated uh, you, you get it more illuminated and everything like that so I want it somewhere around this angle uh, so this seems like a good spot for me and then I can just click over here and then it's Pashash and then just render it and I will let that render run now while I'm letting this this render run uh, I'm going to go to my uh, 3d and then I'm gonna switch off the dead area and I'm just gonna delete that and then show um, show all in 3d so everything is going to show in 3d at this point in time and uh, as as it has been saved on the previous one what i want to do is i want to select that and also select that and then delete it because now what i'm want to do is i also want to send this to a uh, sort of like lumion so basically that's that and i can also just go ahead and uh, delete those the sanitary in fact i don't even have to delete i can just switch off from view and uh, that's what i get I think that I think that's a that's a fair that's fair over there and then I can just control shift and save and then uh, it's going to be a, a Lumion Collada and then I'm gonna go to Lumion Render Oakland 3D section and there you go it's saving right now and uh, in order to sort of like make this process a bit more easier and faster what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into and load into the most recent one that I saved which is the Oaklands and then I'm going to bring that in and uh, what I want to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, import now under imports uh i don't want to import a model like that per se but i want to do it kind of step differently so there is the model that i want to select and what i want to do is i want to add a variation because when i switch between these two variations as you can see I can switch to the one that I cut which was sort of like the ground floor layout and then the second one second model is the one that's cut on top so I want to add a third variation which is going to be the section one uh, so 3d section and this would be my third variation obviously it anchors from the same point which I uh, as you can see right there now uh, it's very simple for me uh, what I want to do at this point in time obviously now I'm going to be saying all right um, this I'm going to be sort of like deleting some of the things that I don't want to be showing at this point in time uh, like the car uh, so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna delete all the things that are sort of like in the way and I'm gonna delete sort of like uh, this these elements right here and uh, delete this desk because uh, it's sort of like hanging over I'm gonna delete that, delete that, delete that 
also delete this desk uh, delete these books uh, i don't want to sort of like end up deleting things that are necessary so i'm going to delete all of this and uh, there you go now the only thing that i need to worry about obviously i just go to my photo area uh, go ahead and do this uh, just try to figure out the sort of like the, the right angle for me at this point in time and the right angle i believe will be somewhere around here maybe i can go down just a little bit so that i can get more depth uh show maybe go maybe more to the to this side so that i can show maybe the bedroom maybe it's not necessary so it's really up to you what you are feeling at the at the moment at the moment what is the right sort of like course of action from your point of view as the designer so for me uh, what i can do right now is i can just add an effect and then i can add the sun uh what i want to do is i want to make sure that the sun is sort of like you know coming from my side and then the height you know there you go uh it gives more sort of like it's showing more depth into the space uh it's sort of like shining into the space rather than shining uh down and creating more shadows so the less shadows uh the better uh, brightness uh, i don't want too much brightness and uh, I really like how it's coming together. Uh, the only bad thing is the background, but you know, I can't really do that, anything about that right now. Uh, I'm sure there are ways, there are ways that I can get around that by sending it to Photoshop and doing some post-production. Uh, so, but at this point in time, I just want to sort of like take a snapshot of that and then I can uh, go ahead and uh, I think everything's fine from this point on obviously i see some sort of like some imperfections in sort of like the elements that i brought in from archicad they are perforated like this one also right here um the slab and uh, also the roof sort of like sheeting it has the same that has that same problem but that's not a you know they are not really gonna worry about that right now and what i can do uh, from this point on obviously i can just say render photo and then desktop and then also and uh, just go uh, oak land a 3d uh, section and then uh, quickly uh, it's done and then the next thing you can do is you can go ahead to your to the folder a 3d section right here so this 3d section you can just take it and set it into photoshop and that's it from that point on that's it for me rich man i hope you guys also enjoyed this video that i just created for you uh, showing you how to create a 3d section using archicad um, but also at the same time going to give it some nice detailing and some uh, sort of like finishing in uh, uh, Lumion obviously you can use Atlantis for this you can also use uh, Cinema 4D you can use Maya whatever rendering software that you feel is adequate for you to use uh, that's really up to you that's really up to how your workflow uh, works for you but essentially this is uh, this is how you can sort of like utilize Archicad to get the best and to get the best and the most out of your work that's it for me, Richmond. Uh, hope you guys love this. Love this. Uh, love you guys. God bless you and goodbye.